Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. Today we are playing probably one of the first games that I played that wasn't Monopoly, Ticket to Ride. Yeah, so this is the digital adaptation of Ticket to Ride. I've actually, looking at my Steam account, it says that I've bought this game many years ago and never played it. Uh, it was probably in a Steam sale, and it was probably in a big batch of uh, other board games that I bought, and I just never played it. So we're going to go ahead and play it today. Um, so I, I usually kind of, when I, when I first play games, I kind of give you my review of how I think it plays, and I cannot do that today because this is literally the first time playing. So um, this is going to be a Let's Play. All right, so it looks like we got the two tutorial. Um, I, I know how to play this game. I think the game is fairly simple, so I should be able to figure it out. It is nice that it has local multiplayer, pass and play, and online. We're obviously going to do solo. Um, all right, and it looks like we have some different maps. So let me go back. I want to go back. Because oh. I think... Oh, yeah, change map. Yeah, so these are the different maps. So that's cool. Um, I do have the physical version of this game, but I think I just have the base game maps, honestly. Uh, no, I think I did buy one of the map expansions, but don't ask me what it is. I cannot remember. Um, oh, it, it might have been this one. I think, because I remember getting a Europe one. But yeah, we have the US. That's the game. That's the, the map that it comes with. Uh, man, two-player game, I don't think it's the best way to play this game. I think more than two i think two players just you have it's too wide open right you got to play on one of those smaller maps so let's do a a third play or thir third play a three player game can we what does that mean it doesn't tell me uh is that first player okay that's first player so we'll do random first player um okay these are the the robots don't really know if there's any concept of a difficulty. So that's kind of like a letdown. Um, these are, are the achievements that we can win. Okay, so I, I imagine. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play three players. A lot of advertising, that's interesting. All right. Longest route is worth 10 points. All players start with 45 cards. All right. So if you don't know how to play, if you don't know how to play this game, um, where have you been? But that's okay if you don't. Um, choose some tickets you will play first. All right. So um, the way this game works is that you're trying to build routes of your color trains across the map. Um, the build here, I would need one, two, three, four, five um, green cards to be able to play that. There are some wild cards. If there's a wild card in this row, when it's your turn, you can do. Uh, you can either play a track, you know, lay down trains, or draw two cards. If you pick up a wild card, I believe you can only pick up one card that turn. So, like right now, I can pick up the two blacks and then. You know, maybe lay down the train here next turn or um, you know, hold on to those cards and try to build up more. Uh, these are the routes that you're trying to complete and you score points for them. They're hidden from everyone else. So no one knows what routes you're trying to com uh, complete. If they do figure it out, um, for instance, if someone knew I was trying to get this one, they may buy this, this track here, even though they don't need it, because then it would force me to have to go all the way around the long way. Um, so this game can get very mean. Um, I am going to pick this card because Pittsburgh is near and dear to my heart. I love Pittsburgh. So we got it. We got to go to Pittsburgh. And I have some some friends that uh, live in Denver. So that's kind of appropriate. And then I also have some some friends that live in L.A. I know people from Chicago. I've been to Chicago. And it's worth 16 points. Um, yeah, let's do it. I mean, uh, it's kind of it kind of makes me nervous to do long routes like that. But if you think about it, I can use the same route from Pittsburgh to Denver 
to then just hop on that same train and go to Los Angeles. So that's, I think this is actually a good strategy right here. Risky because like, you know, if, if this gets blocked off in the middle, it, it will kind of suck, but also I think I'm going to be okay. All right. So now, uh, I, I'm guessing it's my turn. This game isn't really doing a good job telegraphing, um, whose turn it is uh but i definitely want two of these i mean it's a simple game the ui doesn't have to be amazing to be able to follow it you know um all right let's do pittsburgh to chicago And this is one of those games that's like deceptively simple. Oh yeah, another thing I can do is I can um, draw cards from the top of this deck. And what's kind of cool about that is if that one of those were a wild, I don't have to stop. I can still draw two cards. So if there's nothing in this this here that you want, you can draw from the top of the deck. And then you can also get more uh, tickets. Um. Let's see, let's, let's explore this interface here a little bit. Okay, so that just kind of shows me what I have with this little question mark down here. These are my tickets. That's nice, it kind of shows me where they are. Okay. Can't do that, this is a zoom. Okay, and then I'm, I'm afraid to click that. It's probably like a back or something. All right. Uh, so we try. We're trying to get. I mean, it would be kind of nice to kind of go down here. So maybe I'll grab this blue. See, now I can't grab this because I already grabbed a card this turn. If I would have drew from the top, I would have got that. Um, I know. Look, the game's like saying, "Pick a second card." Listen, I play to win. And this game is simple, but it can get mean. It can get real mean. Like, look at the AI. The AI is buying up all these small little routes because, like, you want to get those first because people will clog those up. And then it's like, oh, I got to buy this, like, five card, you know, slot. Um, Like, I almost want to just get this right now. But then I would waste my blue. So that's um I'll just grab I'll grab these two oranges. And then I think I'm gonna lay down this little track down here just to like have it. And then we'll grab this. I think I'm going to grab this other orange. Oh, yeah. And you also score points for laying tracks. They're right here. Uh, wait, how many points do you score for each track? But you really want to complete your routes. That's where the most points are. And then longest train, of course. Like, I almost kind of want to get this yellow if I could. Because I kind of feel like they're probably coming up this way. And I, I would love to stop them, but I'm also worrying about my own business. Um, let's do a pink and off the top. Do an orange and off the top. And I think you can only have uh, so many cards in your hand, so you do eventually have to lay tracks. It's like I don't want to make it obvious where I'm trying to go. I feel like if I go to Denver to Omaha, 
I think I'm relatively safe because there's so many options to go. But if I do it from here to here, they know I'm probably going somewhere, right? So I think I'll do that. I mean, it's the computer. It knows where I'm going. But you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to teach some some strategy here. I don't want it to be too obvious on what I'm doing. I want it to kind of look a little like, what's he doing? It looks kind of random. All right, we're going to do off the top. Nothing in that row that I really want. First green train. All right, I feel like I might want to just drop this down while I can. Boom. I got my route. Check that off. I can't remember how I get more tickets. But let's just focus on getting uh, the ones that we got done. I would love to get... All right, there's nothing here. I wanted to get orange, more orange, or some red. Okay, there we go. But I really want to get that orange. Orange. <sighs> orange. <sighs> I like how it has colorblindness. Look at that for colorblind people. Love it when games do that. I don't have color blindness, but I would imagine that some games would be impossible to play. And that makes me sad to think about. Because games are fun. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I think I'm pretty much going to destroy the computer. Boom. Visiting all my friends. How you doing, guys? Gonna do some skiing up in Denver. Gonna do some LA in in LA. You have validated all your tickets. You can draw new tickets. Remember, you must keep at least one of the tickets that you draw. One, one, more, one more thing. At the end of the game, if two cities you kept are not continuously linked on the map, the points will be subtracted rather than added. That's right. Do you want to get some new tickets? Yes, yes. Is the game almost over, though? Yeah, everyone's got plenty of trains left. When the trains are gone. Um, that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. This one... We could go up to Pittsburgh. And then either up the coast or... So this one's probably a good one. Because I can connect to my existing network. I can either you know just go yellow up to Pittsburgh. Or I could go uh, up to here or up the coast. So it's kind of a safe bet. And it's a big pointer. So let's go ahead and do that one. Do I have to keep two? I think I have to keep at least one. Yeah, I don't like it. None of these other ones drive too well. I mean, I guess this one I could kind of go this way. But that's risky. That's risky, because if I don't get that, I would have to go, like, this way, or, like, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. We're just going to choose the Portland to Nashville. I got family in Tennessee, so I can visit my family. Look at that. I think the computer knew. It's okay, but look at these. I got a couple short routes, so I'll probably try to get this one now. Um, so let's do yellow there, because I want to use the white here, possibly. Let's just drop that little route down and then we'll get, we'll go up in here, you know, get to Nashville via Chicago. All right. So now is, I need blue. So let's just get the top of the deck. Nothing there I want. I might just start grabbing that white. Cause I could just go down this track. Ah, drag the map. Man, I wish we could reset this in a way. Um, I mean, I do think the white would be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take the white. And when this deck runs out, you just shuffle up the discard pile again. So it's not like, you know, there's a finite number of, of certain colors. Um, let's look at the, yeah, so we all got plenty of trains. 
points are not hidden in this in, in this game. So I think I'll grab that white and draw from the top, hoping for blue. Well, I'll take another wild. I'm not really focusing in on my opponent, like trying to mess with them. I'm not a very aggressive player. Plus, I feel like I'm doing okay. I don't need to kind of waste my my cards on being aggressive. Okay, so... I cannot believe I don't have any blue. Um... It's like I could almost just go right up this way, but not really. Where are the blue cards? I repeat, where are the blue cards? I got plenty of white. I think I'll play this down just because I have so many cards and it's points, it's 10 points. And then it gives me some options. I could try to get the New Orleans for, for some unknown reason. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I need to lay trains down. I can't even do this yet. It's like yelling at me. All right, so I guess I could just go this way, like up here. I think the computer thinks it's being mean. And then I'll do the green. Oh, no. All right, that's fine. Boom. Man, good thing I did that. I wasn't really paying attention. I punched three tickets. Boom. Look at my train, it's growing. Oh, it's growing. Oh, it's growing. All right, let's see what they do. Oh, a big 21 pointer. Ah. Do I have a long train? I feel like I have a pretty long train though. Oh, they got longest train? Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Vanderbot. The Vanderbot beat me. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Um, I feel like if I would've got longest train, I probably would've won that, but, uh... Yeah, that's just how it works. So it's a really fast game, um, not too long. So I mean, like, I would love to play again if I, you know, if I had the time. Um, but yeah, I think overall this is pretty good. It, it's a, it's a simple game. It's a game that I personally don't think I would enjoy playing against the the bots. Where this game shines is when you're you know you're playing it with your friends. There's a lot of table talk. There's a lot of um, banter and, and things like that. There's like, especially when you play down a train that's like blocking your friend, they're like, no, and you're like, ha, 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 you know, like that's just fun. Um, and it's also light. So it's like a family game. Um, so it's like simple enough to like kids could play, but it's also, I, I think there's enough strategy there and enough like 
uh, intention and, and tactics that kind of make it enjoyable for everybody. Um, it's one of those games that, you know, it's a classic gateway game. Digital adaptation is a lot of fun. There's some people that absolutely love this game uh, and they play it a ton. Obviously, uh, you know, this game has like every expansion out for it practically. Uh, the digital version, so people do play this online and they do play it, you know, probably fairly competitively. Um, so yeah, this is Ticket to Ride. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, you know, especially if you, you know, you have some, you know, friends and family that are kind of far away and you used to play this game, you know, in person, like you could play it with a, a Google Hangout. So you could, you get some of that like real life, like banter and then, you know, play it digitally, uh, like this. And it's pretty nice. I really do like it. Um, probably could be a little bit better, a little bit more polished. You know, it was very basic in the interface, but I mean, it's a simple game. I mean, maybe you don't want it to be too crazy. Anyway, uh, this was Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. If you do like and enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.